the big Bollywood takeover of streaming shows continues. Last week, we had Shahid Kapoor's starer Farzi on Amazon Prime Video, and this week, it's Disney Plus Hotstar's The Night Manager. It's the official remake of the popular 2016 British series of the same name, which was itself based on the 1993 book by John Le Carre. Aditya Roy Kapoor is Shan Sen Gupta, a manager at a hotel in Dhaka with a mysterious military past. When he discovers one of his guests, a young girl, is being held captive, he tries to save her and get her out. But he soon finds himself in the crosshairs of notorious arms dealer Shailender Rungta, played by Anil Kapoor. Years later, with the help of Raw agent and analyst Lipika Rao, played by an enjoyably chaotic, commanding Tilotam Ashom, Shan finds himself with the opportunity to go undercover and infiltrate Shailender's business and inner circle, which includes his girlfriend Kaveri, played by Shobita Dulapala, and his right-hand man BJ, played by a scene-stealing Shashwato Chatterjee. Star-studded, stylish, unsubtle, easy to digest and even easier on the eyes, the night manager is effective event TV and a perfect fit for the hot star universe. Created by Sandeep Modi and with a screenplay from Sridhar Raghavan, the writer who made Bollywood action movies cool again with War and Pathan, The Night Manager works because it's a big, flashy, surface-level drama packaged like a slick action movie. This is by no means a series that hinges on depth, nuance or sophistication. Instead, it stays true to its promise as a bright blockbuster series, soaked in straightforward storytelling, sexy locations and impossibly good-looking people. Just the fact that it's a forgiving four episodes only made me want to fall in love with it. Director Sandeep Modi and Priyanka Ghosh successfully create a sense of adequate atmosphere with enough narrative momentum and escalating tension to keep things engaging. I just wish the craft was less bland and the storytelling had more personality. You can't help but wish elements of the show were dialed all the way up, like the ticking time bomb anxiety of Shan's identity and agenda getting discovered by anyone at any moment. But here, you're never on the edge of your seat as much as you are comfortably reclined all the way back with popcorn watching film stars be film stars. Even the series' approach to stardom and sexiness is serviceable. I'm all for an expensive, lavishly mounted story about insanely hot people with secrets, specifically Aditya Roy Kapoor and Shobita Dulipala. But as we saw so beautifully with Pathan, there's an art to highlighting hotness and accentuating attractiveness. Put simply, there's a skill to sexy that's missing here. The night manager's need to be accessible at all costs also leads to much tell-don't-show writing. Every character here lives in service of furthering the plot, even if it means behaving in strange and silly ways. I'm pulling you out. I've so got a mission compromise. You're a big I know what I'm doing. In the first episode, for example, Shan is the hotel manager who wants to keep a low profile from the authorities. But then he happily outs himself when he calls up Raw analyst Lipika to help save a young girl. In the very same conversation, Lipika, whose entire business is the security and protection of key information, tells Shan, a random stranger on a phone, everything she knows about her target. Perhaps the biggest leap and laziest sequence is the rushed montage in the second episode, which involves Shan throwing his life away overnight to do drugs, alcohol and crime things at Lipika's request to try and build a reputation as a bad guy and help maintain his cover. Similarly, this is a show that requires us to buy into the idea that a notoriously careful arms dealer would happily accept a mysterious stranger, Shan, into his world and dealings. But I guess at this level of abs, opulence and attractiveness, none of that really matters. Amidst all the familiar espionage, there are a few playful sequences which cut through the narrative's pleasant plainness and the spy craft springs to life. Like a playful fish market scene in the third episode, or in another scene earlier on where a peon from the raw office casually slips into a top official's car and pours himself a scotch and starts to share insider information. Pure swag. Much like the British original which starred Olivia Colman, Hugh Laurie and Tom Hiddleston, the Indian adaptation of The Night Manager belongs to its cast, whose combination of stardom and talent elevate the material. As Shailendra Rungta, Anil Kapoor is suitably menacing, especially in the moments where he loses his composure and you see flashes of the frightening, cold-blooded killer underneath. But it's Shashwato Chatterjee as his right-hand man, playfully named BJ, who brings the stakes of the night manager to life. Nowhere is that electric, nervous, life-threatening, crackling chemistry that this series is going for 
more potent and sizzling than in the scenes between BJ and Shan. And as the main man, Shan, I thoroughly enjoyed watching Aditya Roy Kapoor. His is a say less, be more role and Aditya admirably brings a certain steely, stone-faced X-factor quality to Shan that makes you want to know what's going on in his head. An enigmatic figure who's entirely at ease in a life-threatening situation. Elsewhere, as Kaveri, a stunning Shobita is glossed over and reduced to mere eye candy, which wasn't the case in the original. The show does seem to promise that she'll have more to do in part 2, considering creator Sandeep Modi and team have taken the inspired and rewarding decision to split the series into two parts, with the second expected later this year. Although they would have certainly helped their case had they ended the first chapter on a more urgent, explosive cliffhanger. The night manager might be low on narrative ambition and sophistication, but every once in a while, it's great to have a big, shiny, well-executed star vehicle that doesn't try to reinvent the wheel, it just seeks to entertain. Old wine in a sexier bottle. Sign me up for part two. You can watch The Night Manager on Disney Plus Hotstar.